Hi, my name is Lawrence and today I will show you how I made one of my sculptures entitled Honorable Defeat. And this is that sculpture. I have always been fascinated by Japanese culture and two of my favorite subjects when doing sculptures is actually samurais and uh, dragons. This sculpture is entitled Honorable Defeat. I made this in October 2019. It's made out of polymer clay. The polymer clay that I use is Super Sculpey brand. This is actually a mix of Super Sculpey firm and Super Sculpey original. And once baked, I use acrylic paint to add some color. Funny enough, uh, this sculpture is usually mistaken as seppuku or harakiri or honorable suicide when actually it's a Samurai defeated in battle with a sword through its armor. The first step for the sculpture is making the armature. The armature gives strength to your sculpture. For armature, you can actually use the armature wire available in art craft stores, or you can also use steel wire, which is the one I used here. For the length of the body and the limbs, you can actually find on the internet anatomical ratios that you can use in making your sculpture. Once you've made the skeleton of your sculpture, you can then use aluminum foil to bulk it up. Aluminum foil serves two purposes. One, it allows a surface for the clay to cling to and two, you will use less clay. The second step is the application of the clay. Don't forget to condition your clay so that it would be easier to apply. You would also notice that for the base, I also use clay. Uh, this is not ideal. It's better to use a wooden base. Unfortunately, it's not available in my location. Do this gradually and make the general shape of the body. There's no need to go into detail because we're going to put armor over the body. The third step is making the armor. For this particular sculpture, I used a pasta machine to make uh, sheets of clay and then put the pattern for the armor that I like. I found it easier to work from the bottom to the top. I first applied the skirt and then the body armor. You would also notice that I already started with the forearm and the hands. I then added the shoulder armor. Uh, the procedure is similar to that of the lower armor. I finalized the details of the hands and the fingers. Ideally, this also should have armature, but for a sculpture this small, I no longer added armature. I've also started sizing the head and also made a small samurai sword. I then added the mask, which is for me the hardest part in any sculpture. I was never really good at making faces. Step 4 is finalizing all the details in baking your sculpture. I added the helmet and used sand to texture the base. To make the sand stick, you must first apply liquid polymer clay on the base and then sprinkle it with sand. Once done with the details, bake your sculpture in an oven at the temperature and time indicated on your brand of polymer clay. The final step is painting your sculpture. For this particular sculpture, I used black paint as a base paint and then used a mix of black and silver paint to give it a metallic look. And here is the picture of the finished sculpture. And that's the step-by-step -step guide on how I made the samurai sculpture entitled Honorable Defeat. For questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. For more contents like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.